Monday, May the 25th, 2020. Second video of the day. Uh, as requested on the live stream just last night, we're here in Pigeon Forge to check on the uh, general, the, the Moon Pie General Store or the original book warehouse. Wear a mask if you have one. Well, okay then. <laughs> Yep, yeah, Moon Pie General Store. Oh, uh, it's a whole section dedicated to Dolly Parton. Right there. She's part of the religion around here. We got some old fashioned R.L. Stein goosebumps. Slappy World. The Who Is books. I've even heard some people at my character booth say, Oh, characters, you mean like the Who Is books? These truly are some of the best caricatures published, I think. Whenever I would go into bookstores as kids, the old Barnes & Nobles, before Amazon put them out of business, or Borders, or places like that, this was what I would look for, the humor section. And I used to buy a lot of Garfield books. Foxtrot was my favorite. But uh, it looks like Garfield is still... Still going strong. I actually had this book and read, or l at least looked through a lot of it when I was a kid. It's um, about how to make snares. Oh, there's like a little little sailboat kind of thing. Um, how to make forts and traps and stuff like that. And at some point in here, it actually showed how to make this snare. But I tried putting in the woods across our street when I was a kid and ended up catching the neighbor's cat and got in a lot of trouble over it. It's got a picture of a Christmas tree on it and from that you might think it's like a little mini Christmas tree that you can decorate, something like that. But uh, now if you look a little closer it says grow a living Christmas tree and then on the inside is actual There's actual potting soil and seeds, so I, I don't know how many kids are patient enough, but uh, potentially you could grow <laughs> like a year later, start one Christmas, and maybe a year later you have one big enough to decorate. But uh, yeah, it's not false advertising right there on the front. It says grow your own Christmas tree, grow, grow a living Christmas tree, and that's, that's what you can do. You can also, you know, walk out in your backyard and pull up a sapling pine tree and grow that. Or just don't pull it up at all and let it grow on its own. Pretty, pretty much the same thing. You got a boring mason jar? That's boring. Want to make it cool? Want to make it art? Put a bird on it. Put a bird on it. This book warehouse, the book, the bookstore is really just one side of it. The other side is this toy store that seems to specialize in like uh, puzzle solving kind of build build toys the more mentally stimulating kind of toys and some of these old-fashioned marble sets you see the, um, the big one there that's called the Aggie so you draw a circle in the dirt and you shoot with the Aggie and you try to knock out as many of uh, your color as you can. Somebody else have a different color. And um, whoever knocks all their colors out first gets to keep all the marbles. It was called playing for keeps back in the day. And uh, you weren't really supposed to do that. That was like a lot of parents didn't like it because the kids kept losing their sets of marbles and asking for others. And then there was that really good kid who was really good at marbles end up with everybody's marbles in his back. I think this is just something that's becoming more and more common around the island kind of Gatlinburg area is these novelty 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 soda flavors like this one here there's bacon so this is not just one bacon soda there's bacon with chocolate uh, you could also get cookie dough cookie dough bites in a soda form. Uh, and then there's also Zombie Brain. 
It's probably just like a fruit punch from the judging by the collar. But that zombie brain label just kind of makes you pause and say, hmm, maybe I want to try that. A lot of, what is this, swamp juice? Yeah. Man, if I was still trying dirt, oh my goodness. Yeah, if I was still trying weird snack foods on my live stream, I could feel a grocery cart with weird sodas around the Gatlinburg area. I'd be set for a long time, but I'm not doing that anymore. Alien snot. No, now we're trying more natural stuff like uh, foreign produces and things like that. I'm trying to get away from the sugary stuff, but this is still quite interesting. Martian poop. Martian poop. There's a soda here called Martian poop. They have cheer wine t-shirts here. I actually own that t-shirt, but I got it from the headquarters. Cheer wine uh, bottling company. If you go in the office area, they sell those in the office area. The headquarters. Um, I've never seen them again until now. The original marshmallow sandwich. There must be one in there somewhere. Oh, this one's popped open. Okay, so no, it's not in there. I think that's just like a tin to keep your moon pies in. It looks like a retro box of moon pies here. The different flavors. I keep saying since 19 and 17. So these little marshmallow cookie sandwiches have been being sold for a very long time. I think the chocolate was probably the original. Now there's banana and there's also vanilla, strawberry, salted caramel. There's some double decker right there. Double decker moon pies. Well, here's a whole display of moon pie merchandise. Oh, and RC Cola. RC Cola and moon pie set. That's the perfect set right there. Moon pie Christmas ornaments. We're about as far from Christmas as we can get, but oh my goodness. Moon pie lip gloss. Wow. Moon pie lip gloss. Tiny moon pie mason jars. Should put a bird on them. So, this is a Moon Pie store and book warehouse, and they've combined the two to make the Great Moon Pie Handbook. And of course, this hillbilly eating a moon pie has an RC Cola in the opposite hand. In the very back of the Moon Pie book warehouse, there is something called the Closeout Basement with the moon pie pointing the way. Let's take a look at what's down here. Wow. This whole area is almost as big as the original store itself. Call it courage. This one was required reading when I was in fourth grade. I still remember just about everything that was in there. The best bachelorette party book. A complete guide for party planners. What? French flair flavors. So on. Find the heart heart on? Find the heart on. Bachelors will enjoy an evening filled with heart on fun. <laughs> Invitations. Party scene. Oh my goodness. Gonna be a lot of innuendos here too, isn't there? Yeah, clearance section. The Book of Leon, Philosophy of a Fool. That doesn't sound positive. Understanding snitches? What? Getting over and getting ahead. Snitching. There's a chapter called Snitching in this book. And it's just a page and a half long. Good friends take the rap for your blank. If some blank is going down, he's in the yard making sure some 
you are protected. I mean, that's what real friends do, but now I'm going to be honest. If some blank goes down and you don't didn't do it, you better snitch on someone. And if there's no one around but the good blank friend, your best bet is to snitch on that m mother blank. Oh my goodness. Oh my word. This this was a book that was printed and published. I'm holding it. Somebody actually took the time to write these words down and print them and publish it. That like Star said, Wars, the Crimson Crimson Empire, fully dramatized on two audio cassettes. Well, I just got the two audio cassette tapes of Crimson Empire, Star Wars thing. Um, anyway, that's going to be it for uh, the Moon Pie store, general store original book warehouse. Guys, if you've enjoyed this, please don't forget to indicate so by hitting the thumbs up like button. Uh, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll talk to you down in the comment section and see you on the next one.